My name is Ryan Fredwell, and I am doing my summary on the research paper toward a standard benchmark for computer security research, the Worldwide Intelligence Network Environment, also known as WINE. The article is by Tudor Demetrius and Darren Shu. The overview or some of the key words of this paper would be Worldwide Intelligence Network Environment WINE is a security benchmarking approach based on rigorous experimental methods and a benchmark for, for computer security must necessarily include sensitive code and data. But this type of data could be damaging or reveal personal data that are affected by cyber attacks. Are the contributions to this paper? They propose a research agenda for security benchmarking by identifying the main challenges and several open questions that could be answered once these challenges are overcome, as well as they propose an approach for benchmarking computer security, which combines the WINE datasets with a platform for rigorous experimentation. They explain WINE's data sharing model, and they outline solutions to some of the key challenges for, for security benchmarking. The main questions of the paper. I'm trying to figure out how scam sites conceal their presence and move to avoid detection for lack of historical information on malicious URLs. Figuring out how to follow a security vulnerability over the course of its entire life from programming from a programming bug that evades testing through its stealth exploitation and zero-day attacks, its discovery and description, and a public advisory. Also, the release of a patch for the vulnerability and of antivirus signatures. Answering these questions requires the analysis and the correlation of multiple datasets collected independently from diverse sensors. Right here we have the wine data sets, we have the data sets here, the sources, and then the description. Some of the data sets would be the binary reputation, AV telemetry, email spam, URL reputation, and then malware samples. I'll not get into the description because that is a lot to read. So here is that. Some of the methods and results that I found in this research paper would consist of that they are currently developing a data storage and analysis platform which aims to ensure experimental repeatability by archiving snapshots of the data used in each experiment and by providing researchers with tools for recording all the information required for reproducing the results. Wine will include metadata allowing researchers to establish whether a, a data set is representative for real-world cyber threats. And we got some more methods and results here. To achieve experimental reproducibility, they are currently building a platform for storing and analyzing the data. This platform enables data-intensive applications by adopting a shared-nothing architecture. For example, the binary reputation data set is indexed on both the hash of the binary and the download URL. To, fa to facilitate the correlation of data with the AV telemetry as well as with the email spam and URL reputation data, this design will allow researchers to run experiments at scale. And we got one more page of methods and results here. The experimental platform allows querying the data sets using either ANSL SQL or MapReduce task for greater flexibility. Wine, re Wine receives updates regularly from Somatic's collection of 240,000 sensors which are distributed worldwide. Based on the raw data, Available in Wine 
Researchers define reference data sets that are relevant for their experiments. After the experiments are completed, the reference data sets are archived and network attached storage for future comparisons against results obtained. I'm sorry, this is ASCII, by the way. I misinterpreted that. And right here we have figure 2, which is the architecture of the WINE platform. WINE is a data-intensive system which focuses on ensuring the, re the reproducibility and comparability of the experimental results. And then we have our conclusion, and that is WINE includes five data sets providing access not only to malware samples, but also to the contextual information needed to understand how malware spreads conceals its presence, how it gains access to different systems, what actions it performs once it is in 95 control, and how it is ultimately defeated. The unique features of these data sets allow us to address several research questions that are still outstanding, such as the, the prevalence and origins of the zero-day attacks. Correlating these data sets with information from additional sources, for example, the revision logs and bug databases of open source software, we can follow the entire life cycle of a security threat from the, intro from the introduction of a vulnerability and a software component to the disappearance of the last exploit of that vulnerability. And then some of the weaknesses and challenges that I found in the paper. The experimental method does not ac accommodate an independent verification of results and meaningful comparisons against the prior art. The lack of standard benchmarks for computer security is a result of scientific, ethical, and legal challenges for publicity, disseminating security-related data sets. For security-oriented benchmarks, it is difficult to relate the benchmarking results to the real-world performance of system under test. Security is difficult to measure and assesses objectivity because it represents end-to-end -end property of the system. In many large-scale collections, uncertainty about the data is explicit. And then this is my related article that I found. And that is it. Thank you.